www.newdoboss.com. My name is Ty. Uh, on this video tutorial, I would want to share to you and how you can install WordPress. Start off from scratch with a WordPress website. So I'm thinking that you already have a domain and a web server for this. So what we're going to be covering for would be MySQL database creation, uploading WordPress on your web server, and setting that up a little bit so you can start off with posting. So let's try to do that a little bit quick. So you bring up your uh, Firefox or any web browser that you have and uh, say WordPress download. Google that up and it's going to give you WordPress.org slash download. Just download that and you got this. Download WordPress. Right now, WordPress 3.5 is the updated version. Just click on download. It's going to let you download. Save the file. It's the whatever directory you would want to have it saved uh, but I already have that so let me just cancel that out so while it's downloading in your part you can work on uh, this is one of our websites so you can check that out new for some of the some of the tutorials that we have in there so bring up your um, cPanel uh, your domain cPanel in K uh, in our case we're gonna make use of one of our older domains uh, dbrain.com slash cpanel or on your side your domain.com slash cpanel and it's going to ask you to log in this is uh, going to be a username and the password that was given to you or emailed to you by your web host as to where you purchase your domain and your server from so log in and um, if you're not familiar with cpanel yet we have a tutorial for that on our website new to boss.com you can just check that out in there close that and here what you first want to do is to look up for something that says databases if you're using the PHP um, driven website uh, like basically WordPress you might want to use on uh, you might want to create a database for that but HTML static pages it doesn't require databases so we're gonna look up for database if it looks like this sometimes so I have to expand that a little bit and say MySQL databases. So you got uh, create new database. So this is a prefix. Uh, you always would have that in there. Let's say your domain underscore database. So you might want to create, uh, say, uh, WordPress. Uh, WordPress blog. Say that. I say it that way. Deepbrain underscore WordPress blog. In your case, it's uh, your domain underscore WordPress blog. So you might want to bring up your notepad because you're going to be needing to save that. So just again, create database. Click on that. It's going to give you the database already. It says uh, add a database WordPress blog. So copy that, then paste that in there. Again, remind yourself that's going to be your database go back and scroll down a little bit look up for something that says uh, add new user again we're going to make a user for this specific database so you can make changes add tables add codes scripts for that through your engine so add new user you know, again you got a prefix deep brain underscore so you type in uh, let's say blogger the brain underscore blogger. Uh, you might want to use odd names for that. Um, this is for the sake of tutorial, so we can speed things up a little bit. Again, the brain underscore blogger. A uh, password you might want to make, uh, type in something that uh, is hard for some other people to decode. Remember, this is your engine's um, key. If somebody would know this, they could make changes. Alright, so we might want to make use of password generator, but for now let's just uh, make it plain and simple. A B C one two three. A B C one two three. Oop. No no no. Uh, one two three four A B C. One two three four A B C. ABC. Okay, we got that. Again, blogger. One two three four A B C. One two three four A B C. Click on create user. Then it's going to give you this. Copy that. Because again, this is very much important. Then save that on your notepad. Go back. 
so you got that already you got a database which is this you got a user which is this so you might want to link this user to that database why because you could add privileges and make changes user here add user to database user deep brain blogger database deep brain uh, wordpress blog if you got a lot of database got a lot of users you might want to select that from there all right so an anchor point but here just have to click on add again we're linking them together a user is deep brain blogger database is deep brain wordpress blog click on all privileges why you might want to give that all privileges because this is the primary user if you got a secondary user you just want to allow the creator delete and that's about uh, making uh, allowing privileges to that secondary but for the primary you might want to give them all that you can do click on make changes it would say user deep brain blogger or user your domain underscore blogger was added to your domain WordPress blog. Alright, so you can make changes now. Go back and you're done with that. Okay, so click on home right here. So again, remember this, save this. Why? Because we're actually done with creating website. That's a pretty plain and simple. That's how you create a database. I mean MySQL database. So go to home right here on top. Now look up for something that says file manager. All right. So again, files here. Sometimes it's collapsed, so you just have to look up a little bit to that. Then click on file manager. It's going to give you your public HTML. Public HTML is actually the gen uh, the g generic directory that where you can host files that's seen publicly if you don't input anything here no one can see your website let's take a look at this dbrain.com it's just like that right nothing in there index of it's handled by the HD docs okay so when you get to purchase your website you'd be having a blank site like this okay what you do is you click on upload right here after clicking on upload, you got a button that says browse. Again, the directory is home the brain public HTML. Again, what you do, what we're trying to do now is we're uploading WordPress. Alright? Click on browse. Then uh sorry, I need to find my WordPress download. Uh here. Put that in there. Got WordPress on the desktop. Click on browse and double click on WordPress. And it's going to start to upload. All right, there you go. So while it's starting to upload, what you want to do for that is this: create a new folder here that says new, say WordPress. Then you're going to extract here, drag, extract there. The reason why you want to extract WordPress because you're going to need one file in there. It's going to be very much specific to linking up your MySQL or your database that you just created again it's extracted already double click on that then you got wordpress look up for something that says wp uh, config sample .php all right so copy that here again config sample .php so what you do is open up your notepad then drag that in there okay so this is uh, somehow your key combination. This is where you're going to input your uh, SQL details. So take a look here. Something that says MySQL database username, MySQL database password, and localhost. You don't change this anymore. Localhost is because it's hosted locally on that server that you purchased. So I'll go up and look up for um where's that here this is what we're actually trying to look up for again this is the name of the database and then the user and the password that you just created up earlier on cpanel so copy that you go for let me just make this uh let me change the font so you can see that it's actually there you go. All right. So it looks like that. My database username, DB user username here. All right. So copy this, then paste that in there. So you got your domain underscore WordPress blog or your database. Then add user, which is uh, deep brain underscore 
blogger. That's the one that we created. So we got no. Sorry, sorry. Got confused right there. The the database should be not on username, but should be here. The name of the database WordPress here. Move that a little bit there, and user should be here for username and password one two three four here my database SQL password here then control s or save your notepad all right so your notepad has been saved so what you do is do so the name of this is uh, wp dash config dash sample so what you do is to remove the word sample you just leave it to wp config delete Enter again wp config.php. Right? wp config.php. Remember that. You need to make sure that. Go back to your browser. Check if um, WordPress has been uploaded already. And it's done. 5.19. Remember that? That's the, that's the measure or the count of the bytes earlier. So done. Click on that. Go back to home. Let's remove this first. There you go. You got WordPress. Earlier you just got HD access, now you got WordPress. Alright, so right click on that and what you want to do is extract. You always can do another way. Highlight and click on extract here. So right click, then uh, extract, extract to public HTML, and it's gonna allow you to extract. Everything's been extracted in a folder form. Alright, so again this has been created to a folder form. Uh, highlight the original file, delete that. So you just left to these two right here. Double click on WordPress uh, directory folder. Then select, it's, it's going to bring you to a different folder, right? The inner part of that folder. So click on select all, make sure, check right at the bottom that everything has been highlighted. And right click over that, you got move. Okay, again, right click got move you also have move here so click on move it says uh, public HTML and uh, slash WordPress so you remove that because you don't want that in there anymore you want that under public HTML all right so you want that for to move that right in front of the folder not inside but outside that folder so move files it's gonna remove everything go back a little bit then it's in there already Right, so take a look at that HD access that was the one that we have in there and WordPress folder. But now everything has been moved in front, so you, you now can remove. Make sure if there's nothing else, nothing else, go back, just remove this WordPress folder, delete that, and you have everything okay. So you got a WP config sample, you also have to delete that file right there. And then you have to upload one more file. That's the file that we just created earlier. Click on upload, click on browse, and you got WP config right here. Right? Double click on that so you can upload. It says complete. Go back, then check if it's in there. WP C O N F I G. There you go. So you got that. All right. So somehow everything has been completed and it should. It should pull up the WordPress install web page now. So what you do, uh, open a new tab or relaunch a browser and type in your domain, thebrain.com. And let's check if it's going to say install. Yes, it did. If you're on this page now, again, remember, we just type in the domain, thebrain.com, and it's going to ask you to install. If you got or successfully uh, get to this page then that means that everything that you did in MySQL and in installing WordPress uh, has been done correctly if you lose uh, I mean if you weren't able to come up to this page and you go back a little bit maybe you've had some errors in uh, changing the config file like we did earlier maybe you put you've inputted your deep brain username to a password and inverted everything Right, so just check back and relaunch your browser again. Maybe clear cache if it's not working. Sometimes it's it's actually like that. Then it's going to bring you up to this page. Now, site title. You have to provide a site title. 
this is a WordPress hosted uh, site, one that we have right now active, where you can find tutorials uh, from. So new to boss .com, So you might want to name your title as to whatever you you'd want to say. Uh, tech. I don't know. Ties. Tech blog. Like that. Uh, username. A uh, admin. That could be all right. You could say tie or whatever password. Make use of this if you want to. Week, that's all right. Your email and allow search engines to index this site. If you want to monetize your website like this, we got uh, Google AdSense, we got Nuffnang, we got ads in there. If you want to monetize that, of course you'd want to have search engines to index your site, right? But if you just want to keep that a personal site, like hosting for some some pro some of the person that you just want to keep that not indexed and just uncheck that your email type in something in there um, whatever email you have and click on install WordPress oh sorry I forgot right I should type in a password password uh, type in an email noodle work at gmail.com that's the one that we have right and click on install WordPress and it's gonna give you WordPress now username admin your chosen password log in and it's gonna bring you to this page right here WordPress right so this is where you always log in and make changes on your website now try, uh, try to take a look at that relaunch again see that it's not uh, the install part anymore but you got a theme already this is the default theme of WordPress alright so you got that you might wanna might wanna make posts now how do you do that so just click on what did I type uh, admin the one two three four just click on login and it's gonna bring you to a dashboard right this is now where you can customize your website write your first blog post from there everything's pretty straightforward but if you want somebody to guide you we have another tutorial for this on our website you can always check that out so again that's how you pretty much start from scratch uh, purchase a domain and a server um, download WordPress create a MySQL database and upload your WordPress in there make changes on a config file and then from there you've got a working WordPress website yeah, for some other video tutorials, newtoboss.com is the website, and on YouTube we got NoodleWorks. Okay, my name's Ty. See you back. Thanks for watching.